What's going on guys? So it's been a little while since I've done a soap review. So I figured I might as well do one while I'm out here right on the coast of Cape Cod in Provincetown. I'm about two minutes from the ocean. Just came from there. Nice little area to do a soap review. So today is going to be the long awaited review of Duke Cannon. So I figured just to go with the pine scented bar because you can easily compare that to a lot of other brands pine bar and that was the only one that they had at the grocery store so we're gonna test this out first of all for ingredients it is a big bar of soap it's like 10 ounces and the official name is illegally cut pine picture of a christmas tree but as far as the ingredients go it kind of worries me because it's not really natural so we have sodium palmate sodium cocaine sodium palm kernelate water glycerin fragrance not natural fragrance either just fragrance sodium chloride tetrasodium glutamate diacetate rosemaryness and all right so it's, i guess it's just a rosemary leaf extract but like it's mostly not natural soap so it's also not cold processed this is triple milled uh, you will find that a lot of times with the, your bigger bars of soap. So here it is. First impression is it's not even a pine color. It's just like a normal generic bar of soap. The scent, um, it pretty much, it's not as strong as I thought it would be. It's not super weak. It's somewhere in the middle. But I expected this to be stronger smelling and a darker colored bar with some actual ingredients in it it kind of just smells like a generic bar of soap that has that christmas tree spray that you spray onto fake christmas trees so that's kind of ironic um i'm going to keep this a pretty short review because it's sure it's a big bar of soap but it's not really worth it in my opinion the ingredients are nothing special the scent is nothing special i kind of think it's a waste of money there might be some other scents that people prefer, but overall you're just paying for a big bar of chemicals with artificial fragrance infused into it. So my overall impression is not impressed at all. And that's probably why it's taken me so long to try this out because I had a feeling it wouldn't be anything special. So that's my review of Duke Cannon. Uh, if you have another opinion, let me know in the comments and we will see you next time.